Hi guys, Miss Eglin here. Today I wanted to talk about The Giver, chapters 18 to 23, which is the end of the book. And a lot of people had emailed or sent um, chats through Microsoft Teams wanting to talk about the end of the book, which is great because we usually do spend um, a lot of time discussing, you know, what happened at the end. So this is a essay question. Um, from Mr. Moffa that I thought was really good and we usually do this at the end of the book and then kind of have a debate. So it says the ending of The Giver is controversial. Some readers believe that Jonas and Gabriel safely made it to elsewhere on the sled. Other readers believe that Jonas and Gabriel died at the end of the story. Explain what you think happened to Jonas and Gabriel. Use evidence and quotes from the novel to support your opinion. Okay, so to do this question, I would go back to that chapter and look it over again. And really, I will tell you that many people disagree on what happened. So, in common sense, we know Jonas has taken off. By the way, there are spoilers in this, obviously, because it's about the end of the book. So, if you did not finish the novel the giver stop go back and finish that before you listen to this video because this will ruin the ending for you so we know jonas and gabe are on the verge of death and they're trying to get as far as possible but they're starving they're freezing they don't have clothes and they're exhausted so jonas is trying to get up this hill just because he has like you know this feeling there's something up there and he's using the memories to keep them going you know little scraps of warmth and things like that and, you know, it says the top of the hill seems so far away, but he did not know what lay beyond, but there was nothing left to do to, but continue. Okay, and they're freezing, and, and then he starts, Jonah starts thinking about, you know, his family and friends, and then he remembers the giver, and he feels joy, and he keeps going. So he reached the place where the hill crest and he could feel the ground under snow covered feet become level it would not be uphill anymore so then he tells gabriel we're almost there i remember this place so somehow and, and we don't know how because this doesn't really make quote unquote sense um he feels like this place is familiar to him he hugs gabe and there's this blinding storm but yet inside himself jonas is confident that you know he needs to keep going so he gets on the sled that is just waiting for him at the top of the hill okay now that really like why would there just be this sled there it's very odd and it would be a pretty big coincidence because we know the first memory he got from the giver was the sled so he settled himself on the sled hugged gabe the hill was you know steep they started down and now jonas is passing out on the sled and then he said he would lead them to the final destination, the place he had always felt was waiting, um, the elsewhere that held their future and their past. So then he opens his eyes and he sees these lights and he recognizes them. And he says he knew they were shining through the windows of rooms, that they were the red, blue, and yellow lights that twinkled from trees in places where families created and kept memories, where they celebrated love. So that's the Christmas memory, the giver's favorite memory that he shared with Jonas. So it's ahead and it says they were waiting for him and they were waiting too for the baby and for the first time he heard something that he knew to be music he heard people singing okay and then we come to this last paragraph behind him across vast distances of space and time from the place he had left he thought he heard music too so per but perhaps it was only an echo okay so if I'm reading this using the evidence that I see and for me it would be him passing out on the sled if he's even on the sled but I could almost back up especially like when he got warmer if anything he felt more numb or cold you could argue that right here Jonas dies or he is dying and the rest of this is a type of fantasy and I think when the book was first published um, it's ambiguous it could go either way but a lot of people would think that Jonas died now at this point I will tell you that there are 
other books. Okay? And I've read all of them, and one of them is actually one of my favorite books. But the next book is Gathering Blue. It is completely different from The Giver. Um, I might try to do a read aloud of that if people are interested. And I don't want to give too much away, but it's a different community. There is a reference to a blue-eyed leader of another community in the book. Okay, they don't come out and say it is Jonas, but you get that impression. And then the third book is called The Messenger. And, okay, in this book, I will tell you, there are, it's Jonas is in the book, okay? And Gabe is in there too. So, according to that, they are, they are definitely alive. And then there is a fourth book, which is actually one of my favorites, called Sun, The Sun. And, and it is about Gabe and Gabe's mother. Okay. Um, and it's like the final book. And, um, and it is about Claire, the mother of Gabriel, the baby seen in The Giver. Okay. So, according to that then that kind of gives me a different spin on the ending because technically in the books they do survive okay so you could use some of this evidence you know he heard somebody singing that you know maybe literally um you know he did stumble across some christmas scene and that jonas was just very 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 lucky to find the sled on the top of the hill but in the books you know technically he does live so in your response whatever you want to say that's fine you just want to support it with your textual evidence and then you will get that five points but if you are interested in me reading these other books let me know um i really like gathering blue the messenger i am not crazy about um, but Sun is definitely fantastic. Um, and these books are available on our school overdrive. Um, you might have to, if they're checked out already, um, you can put a hold on it and you will be the next person to get them or they are available, you know, online through Amazon and things like that. Um, and, you know, I wouldn't read too many of these reviews because there's always spoilers in there and when I read a book I don't like to know spoilers um, I don't even typically read the back I might read the first couple of lines of the book itself but I really don't like to know um, too much about the book before I read it so again if you are interested check those out and it's definitely worth your wow I hope you like the giver I am sorry we were not there to discuss it and do all our activities in person and also i wanted to mention there is a giver movie um it is pg-13 um when i first saw it i really didn't like it but as the years have grown by there are parts i like i really like the memories but i will caution you um i feel like the book itself is perfect and then in the movie, they, they change things. And I don't really know why they change certain things. You can see it got 35% on Rotten Tomatoes. Because I think a lot of people that read the book are like, why would you change something that is perfect? Okay, so thanks for listening. And again, if you want me to read those other books online, let me know. Or if you need um, help locating them. Um, I would Google it, look through Overdrive first, and then um, you can also get some of them online. Okay, thank you very much.